The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team update for you guys. Ultimate Freeze information has been released tonight. It is late in the evening, of course, on this Thursday night. But it sounds like we're going to start to get some of this content in the game as early as Friday. So this is pretty damn exciting. I wanted to get to you guys, get you guys this information as quickly as possible. So uh, first things first, guys. Frozen Moments is going to be the first thing that we're going to talk about here. And by the way, guys, this is all coming from the EA Sports Madden Ultimate Team blog. And I will leave a link to that in the description below if any of you guys want to go check that out yourselves. Not everything that they're going to put into the game is included in this, but you're going to get enough of it where I think you're going to, you know, get excited. I, I'm pretty excited about this promo. Definitely very, very excited. So let's go over here and let's take a look. So frozen moments, like I said, are going to be the first thing that we're going to see here. It says moment collect moments collectibles are used to unlock special ultimate freeze rewards, including elite players. You can find additional frozen moments in freeze objectives, solo challenges, head to head seasons and freeze store packs. Freeze packs will offer the fastest way to earn moments. So Sounds like pretty traditional EA collectibles so far. Um, now, the first thing here that we're going to see as far as actual content goes, Ghosts of Madden. Yes, we are going to see some Ghosts of Madden content. Deion Sanders there listed. This is pretty damn exciting. I'm very pumped for it. We're going to see the first ones here. First, we've got Jeremy Shockey there on the left. That's obviously the Ghosts of Madden's past. We've got a Ghost of Madden's present here in the middle with Adrian Peterson. And then we've got a Ghost of Madden's future with Jalen Ramsey. It says collect ghosts and frozen moments for the master Deion Sanders. There is a 96 overall, ladies and gentlemen, Deion Sanders. Now, if you look closely, and we'll zoom in on this a little bit here, you can actually see that there is additional chemistries for this Deion Sanders here. We have a defense times two. We have an LD, which I'm trying to remember exactly what that is. I want to say it's like long defense or something like that, like deep ball defense maybe. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but the big one here is this one right here in the middle. You probably can't see it very well, but what it is is the prime time chemistry. Now, I have absolutely no idea what that is, but I do know based on what Mutt Guru tweeted, that you can have this Deion Sanders and an additional card that we're going to talk about here in a few moments, both in your lineup. So you can have two of this type of chemistry in your lineup and you will activate this primetime chemistry. So that's pretty damn cool. We'll talk about that again. I don't know what the primetime chemistry is at this point, but it's definitely something to pay attention to. Now going down, we're going to start to see some of the out of position players. This is the limited time Mike Evans strong safety card 93 overall guys take a look at those attributes son we talked about this one in my video that I put out earlier this afternoon where I talked about some of the cards that I wanted to see that were out of position and Mike Evans was definitely one of them now I actually had him listed as a free safety on my video He's a strong safety here. Really, it makes no difference to me. I just want a safety, Mike Evans. Uh, somebody that I can use on defense. Six foot five guys, 89 speed, 90 acceleration. So he doesn't have the top end speed, but safeties typically don't. So this is definitely still good enough. 92 zone coverage, son. 92 zone coverage. He still has some high hit power as well. Like we had talked about, there was a good possibility that this card would have good hit power. 86 hit power, 91 pursuit. 84 man coverage if you put this card as a cornerback it could potentially be one of the de one of the better cornerbacks in the game seriously 92 zone with 84 man 89 speed and 90 acceleration if you're talking about a salary cap lineup i actually think this might be pretty damn viable he's 47 points toward your salary cap I definitely am a big, big fan of this card. I am super pumped to have a Mike Evans defensive card. Now, I'm expecting that this is going to be a damn expensive card, so I'm not expecting to be able to afford it anytime soon, but still pretty damn cool. I'm excited for it. Let's continue down here. Let's talk about some of the other uh, out-of-position players. So, again, this is like we talked about before. Out-of-position players are players that played in high school or collage, apparently. Apparently, uh, whoever wrote this blog didn't go to collage uh, <laughs> for even a few plays in the NFL gridiron. 
Now, you can find these special players in freeze packs, solo challenges, objectives, and seasons. So again, you can get these potentially by uh, just opening packs, or you can also get them by doing solo challenges and things like that. The next one, Donald Penn Tight End. Guys, if you don't remember, Donald Penn Tight End was my absolute favorite card in Madden 25. Now, that's a few years back. Don't get me wrong. The game has changed a lot since then, but that card was a fucking monster, man. That card was absurd. This is a six foot four uh, tight end that's going to have 87 run blocking, 90 strength, uh, 76 spectacular catch. He actually has okay speed to a 74. It's not good by any means, but like he's not just a complete freaking like you know, snail out there. He can at least move. Um, and, and really the big thing is that this card is going to be good for, you know, going in and blocking on the edge. That's what the important thing is. It's basically a sixth offensive lineman for you with decent speed. And if somebody does turn him into a golden ticket, we're talking about the best tight end in the game probably again. So, yeah, very, very nice card here with Donald Penn. Excited about that one. We've got a Landon Collins as well. Now, again, guys, these are not all of them. There are probably going to be plenty more of them, so just keep that in mind. But Landon Collins does have a left outside linebacker card. This is actually pretty similar to what they did with Cam Chancellor this past year where they had uh, a very similar type of card, a safety moving to linebacker. And a lot of people love to use that Cam Chancellor card because you got to take advantage of things like the high speed, the acceleration that Landon Collins has and like Cam Chancellor had, you're still going to have the high hit power with a 94. His tackling is still very, very good as well. Play recognition solid. Block shedding is good. Uh, the pursuit's good. I mean, like, every single thing that you would look for is pretty damn good. He doesn't have the height that some of the other linebackers do, like your Anthony Bars and those type of guys are a little bit taller than Landon Collins, but I don't think height is as important in this game as it has been in previous years. So, uh, you know, just something to think about anyway. Continuing on, guys, we do have the return of Mutt Gifts. Now, it says, Mutt Gifts are only available in packs for a limited time. This is 1216 to 1218, as well as Christmas Day. That means that tomorrow, Friday, we will start to see Christmas packages in packs, or I guess they're called Mutt Gifts in packs. So keep that in mind, guys. They're only going to be in the game for three days at first and then on Christmas Day itself. Now, you can see here some of these will actually open up before Christmas Day. So what we're going to see here is that obviously the ones that are 1216 to 1218, most of them, if not all of them, will open up before Christmas. And then it sounds like there's going to be additional ones on Christmas Day. So keep that in mind, guys. Opening packs between maybe the 19th, I guess, to the 24th may not be the best option unless they start to do something else in between that time. So keep that in mind. Um, again, guys, keep gifts will open into a, a pack. So check unopened packs for when your mutt gift reveals. So keep that in mind, guys. All right. Continuing on here, here's some more of the gifts. You can see this one opens on 1221. One thing that I do want to point out here, guys. This is not like the gifts that they did last year. And when I say last year, I'm talking Madden 16. Uh, the gifts that we had in Madden 16 were quite a bit different in th than this in that they actually literally would show you what was in the pack if you just did some investigative work. Like if you actually went into, say, Photoshop and, and edited the... Uh, the graphic within it or you really zoomed in on it and things like that you could actually see what was in the gifts that's not how it is this year they're going back to what they've done in previous years where it's just looks like it's pretty much random stuff um, now usually there's some sort of you know giveaways on these whether it be like say for this for instance this one here this has got like some Seahawks type of colors here. You got like the little blue color there and you've got some green. I don't know for a fact that this is a Seahawks uh, package or anything like that, but those are the types of things that you would look for, at least in the past, that would give you some hints. Or like this one here, yellow and blue. Could either be uh, the Chargers, it could be the Rams, you know, something like that. A lot of times we've seen Deacon Jones come out in uh, the Ultimate Freeze promos in the past. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, these gifts are not, it doesn't look like going to just give you a dead obvious giveaway. At least the ones that we see here. I don't see anything at first glance that just tells me, oh, that's a flashback pack or, you know, something like that. Like we saw in, in uh, packs last year or gifts last year, excuse me. 
So, continuing on here, guys, we do have uh, the Frozen Solo Challenges. We talked about that a little bit before. Um, they're going to be adding those every day, it sounds like. So, make sure that you're heading on to the game and finishing those challenges. The Master Sets are also going to be available here. We talked about the Ultimate Freeze Master Set. We've also got the Out of Position Master Set, which is actually going to give you a Wide Receiver Deion Sanders. Now, the Wide Receiver Deion Sanders also has the chemistry, the primetime chemistry. You can see it a little bit better on this card, actually. So we'll zoom in on it there. Um, you guys can see there, this one says prime right there. That is the primetime chemistry. I don't know exactly what that's going to be. I don't know. I, I think P is playmaker, if I remember correctly. By the way, uh, one thing that I want to point out real quickly, some of these other ones had, uh, or maybe it was just the Mike Evans, had a T for a chemistry. I don't know what that is. If anybody has any uh, suggestions as to what that is, leave it in the comments section below. Uh, but this one here, I believe, is, uh, you know, we've, we've got, like, the playmaker chemistry and the primetime chemistry, the offensive times two uh, for the ultimate freeze offense. So, yeah. I mean, definitely a beastly card here with the Deion Sanders, a 95 overall. A lot of people that I've seen on Twitter are kind of pissed off about this because they're saying, why is wide receiver Deion Sanders the best wide receiver in the game? Well, I mean, if you guys are new to Mutt, uh, this, that's probably a good question, right? But really what happens is that throughout the year, they just progressively give you higher overall players. You're not going to really see a promo that they put out where they have a lower overall average than the previous promos that they've done. So, yeah, the ultimate, you know, master of this, uh, of this whole promo, the ultimate freeze, yeah, that card's probably going to be the best at his position in the game at the time. I agree with you. Deion Sanders was never an elite wide receiver. He made some great plays for the Cowboys and things like that, but he was never like the top end elite wide receiver. So it is a little bit weird that he's the best receiver in the game, but it's kind of cool for now that we at least have uh, a wide receiver, Deion Sanders, that we can talk about. So I, I do like that. 94 speed, 95 spec catch. I mean, this card's going to be crazy. It's going to have crazy kick return attributes as well, as you can probably imagine. Uh, and then obviously, again, we're talking about the defensive prime time here, 95 speed, 96 man, 94 zone. I mean, like ridiculous attributes here pretty much across the board, guys. So uh, very, very nice overall. And then uh, it does say some very exclusive limited time players, including out of positions, players and ghosts will take your ultimate free squad to the next level. Stay tuned to EA Sports underscore Mutt for dates and times. So there you have it, guys. That is the promo. Hopefully, you guys are excited about this one. I mean, I definitely am. This is probably my favorite promo that they do every single year. So I'm really, really hoping that we're able to get some good stuff uh, this year. And, and hopefully, there are some other really cool ghost players and some cool gifts and definitely some cool out-of-position players. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will talk to you guys again soon.